okay welcome back to my channel this video I'm going to show you how do you configure the basic graphs like a average response time graph active thread graph and a success versus failed transactions graph. so if you want to configure all these graphs you can go to the jmeter official plugin website and download these all plugins post downloading make sure you place those files into the library files inside the jmeter directory and then inside the external library files also post placing these files once you start the jmeter you can have already configured couple of threads here just for the demo purpose you can go in go to the listener and you will see all these three options so just keep adding them all three of them and I'll just quickly add all of them post adding these graphs what you can do is you can uh, you know plan your test this is the most important part of it to plan your test so that you can see the ramp up and response against the ramp up very important for uh, checking the response time when the ramp up happens so what I've done is I've configured accordingly two threads, two threads run it for 300 seconds, second thread started at 6 seconds delay so that we can we can see the ramp up and we can see how the response time behaves. Now I'll quickly replay the whole setup and if you see it all started with one thread and slowly it has gone to two threads. Now it will ramp up to, okay here you see the third thread coming up fourth thread so you can see the response time over time as well so just correlate all these graphs and then you will get to know about the response time behavior uh, when the TPS you are trying to ha have a higher TPS and you are increasing the number of threads as well thanks for watching